Welcome to Norman, Oklahoma, and the heart of the Sooner Nation. Memorial Stadium already rocking with the sounds of Boomer Sooner. We're going to hear that all day. Today we have a top 25 matchup on hand. Two of college football's premier teams preparing to battle against one another. As we'll see the number 15 team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. job by this offensive line the back gets behind him picks up some positive yards and the volunteers come to the line in the hurry up and off here from the shotgun they stop him after a six yard game so second and four great job by the offensive line here opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Same tail back, another carry. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, you'd love to see a few more yards here to give yourself a better chance on third down. Now, here early in this game, we get a big third down to see if this offensive line can keep the pressure off the quarterback. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. And it looks like the quarterback's going to run it. Nowhere to run. A corral it for no gain. And the Vols will send their one team on the field. We'll see what he can do with the return. Oh, and he fumbled it! The offense recovers the fumble. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. This line gets set up. It's a first down play. Well, that returner might not see very many more chances in this game. That's a real heads-up play by his teammates to recover the ball so the offense can keep possession. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw a good pass rush there on first down. But, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Back to pass. It's Arnold. Tries to avoid the rush and just gets rid of it. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. The Sooners will have to kick it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. On the return, it's White. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. Last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Tackle is made. It's a short gain, well short of the marker. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. 
The Volunteers will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. Christina, the spread arrow over the years has always blown offensively. But I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space and still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. And it's intercepted. Going the other way, can they stop him? At the 10 now. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Wow, what a play. Defensive score. Well, the takeaway and the touchdown, that is just a dream play for any defender. Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the fact that he got his eyes turned around, found the football, and then has the athletic ability to be able to secure it. Then he goes back to high school running back days and shows what he can do with the ball in his hands and takes it all the way back for a touchdown. Beautiful thing. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the returner is one down. Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back through a pick six in the last possession. Let's it go quickly. Pop over the middle. It's Brazil. Tackle made after a big game. A move the sticks for a first down for this Tennessee offense, and this quarterback is really starting to throw the ball well, putting the ball in the money, and giving these receivers a chance to make plays after the catch. And tell you, they've had some great quarterbacks, as we know, that have played in their time in Knoxville. Game moves it to the 35, first down again. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. <laughs> Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll give it to the back. Gets the first and still running. Brought down, it crosses midfield to the 46. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. The Volunteers will come to the line to run the hurry up. Trying to find some room. It's Sampson. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. I love to watch this offense when they can dominate the line of scrimmage and have a talented back behind him. You continue to pick up first downs. You get the rhythm going. We've been watching Tennessee offenses do that for a long time. The balls line up on first and ten now. It's a run. Running back's got it. Breaks a tackle on the play. Makes a decent game. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Second down after that run on the previous play. ball is handed off out of the shotgun and that broken tackle will earn him first down yardage Chris it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits they've got to come up with some changes up front this guy's already over 50 yards and if he keeps running the way he is not only is he having a great day but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action 
scanning the field. It's Ayamaleva. Looks to the left, and it's complete. Oh, and he fumbles. Looks like the defense has it. You know, with wide receivers, we get enamored with their size and their speed and their versatility and their ability to make plays after the catch. But none of those things are more important than taking care of the ball. He makes the catch, but he doesn't secure the football, and it's a fumble. And the Sooners' offense is back on the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. And the back gets the football. They tackle him now at the 14. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football. And by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Here's the second down play. He hands it off from the gun. They get him to the ground about the 18-yard line. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. The Sooners come up to the line in a hurry-up. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. He's got it for a big game. He heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. This is really what separates a good running back from a great running back. Instead of just being a check down or the possibility involved in the spring game, this guy's actual wide receiver lined up in the backfield. That time you could see the versatility and what he brings to the table. He can come up with a big play. Looking to pass, it's Arnold. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. Chris, that is textbook by this defense in man-to-man -man coverage. Nowhere to go for this quarterback. He's looking around everywhere to find an open man. By the time he figures it out, it's a sack for the defense. We'll see if they can overcome the sack. Second and very long. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. On the run here. Let's it go. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. And the Sooners will bring their punt team onto the field. When he comes for his second punt of the game. With the return, it's White. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? It's a quarterback keeper. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Well, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Ball handed off. Stop short the marker after just a short game. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. The ball's hustle to the line to run the hurry up. To throw, it's Ayamaleva. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Running with purpose. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. 
And the Volunteers lining up here on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And that pass rush has trapped him. It's a sack. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. The sack sets up second down. Toss play, running right. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Looking to set up a screen pass here. The defense stops him short of the marker in that screen. Fourth down coming up. What's well, third down and forever? The defense is kind of sitting back in what I would say is like a prevent defense, just trying to avoid the big play, and it almost cost him. The quarterback checks into his running back, and the running back shows you he can pick up a lot of yards. So it's fourth down, but at least it's a little bit more manageable. Hunt lands at the six, but heads into the end zone for a touchback. The Oklahoma offense is back on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. They stop him right at the 24. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They bring him down, but the drive is now reached to the 35. Chris, Oklahoma has had their run of quarterbacks and receivers in recent years, and we know they can throw the football. But anybody goes back to Barry Switzer and Bud Wilkinson, you know that Oklahoma is all about their ability to have a running game. Beautiful play right there, and I know the Sooner fans are proud of that one. Off the play fake on first down. Well, they've got him for a sack, a big play made by the junior. Well, you gotta do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all in the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. Those big guys up front will have to regroup now. It's second and 14. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he'll be brought down, sacked on the final play of this first quarter. The Sooners bring their punt team onto the field. Running it back, it's White. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. 
Well, they won it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defense coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. And the Vols will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. Fired into a tight window and picked off. Not much on the return there, but the takeaway will set up the offense at the 38. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. And the Sooners offense is back out on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Quarterback still with the football. That's strong run defense. Not much of a gain on the play. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Important second down play coming up. handoff as they run the counter play. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four or more yards a pop like that. So now it's third and short from the 30. Chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt. They pick up the first on the ground. Run down, but it's past the line of the game. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Handoff heading left. And the runner brought down, but looks like there's a flag on the field. Let's see what this is about. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Penalty makes it first down and 20. On the ground, it's Hicks. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Second down play coming up for this offense. Movement here from the tight end. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Let's it fly to the wide out. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, man, they're just playing very efficiently right now. The Sooners looking to run some tempo here. Grab behind the line. It's Roberts. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Strong game by this quarterback. The offense clicking now, Kirk, building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just complete domination. The offense is executing and doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the PHC, they take a 14-0 lead. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. 
They'll tag to them out across the 20. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quick throw caught on the left side. Breaking free at the 35. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. Boy, nice job here by this offense, creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Running back with the football. The junior able to bring him down quickly. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's Ayamaleva. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. After the incompletion, they'll have to try to convert here on third and nine. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right calls. And they'll set up for the PAT. With the extra point, they're down 14-7 now. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He'll bring it out from his end zone. And he'll be stuck short of the 20-yard line. Good job of the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. Their last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. Can the defense come up with answers this time? They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. When they're throwing the football like this, it is really hard to defend this offense because of the timing of the quarterback with his wide receivers. Another good example of it there for the first down. Makes me harken back to guys like Sam Bradford and Jason White, their Heisman campaigns and the accuracy that they threw the football with. Great example of that right here by this OU quarterback. The shotgun running play call. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. And the Sooners will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Airing this one out toward the sideline. Pass caught, can he get in? And he's in! Touchdown, Oklahoma! Chris, how dangerous is this offense? Of course, you know about the receivers, those vertical shots, but here's an example. You get the ball to the running back out in space, takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. He 
PHC is good. They're pulling ahead now, 21-7. teams on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Volunteers powerful offense back out on the field. The last time they scored a touchdown, can they keep clicking here over the defense? Come up with a stop. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Handoff here from the shotgun. And test the middle and get stuck. That is just not open for business today. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. Quick throw to his receiver. And he pulls in the catch. Stopped at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. Breaking free at midfield. They bring him down, but not before a huge game. Moves the ball to the 40-yard line. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. Ball handed to the running back. Has the first down and more. We saw them at the 23. This offense is getting close to the red zone. Chris, that last carry puts him now at 100 yards for the game. Boy, he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop in front of him, then used that burst to pick up some good gains today. The Volunteers come to the line in the hurry up. Grab behind the line, it's White. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. The Volunteers are in the red zone. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go. Now, give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four-down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. Him back. We're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Samson. They tackle him at the three, but that's a great gain in the pitch and catch. Well, you talk about a huge conversion. That's third and long. It doesn't matter for these guys. They just keep going about their business. Great connection between this quarterback and receiver on that one. And now they're in business. The ball is looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. Try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. The offense sets up in scoring position with a new set of downs. To the air, it's Ayamaleva. Running out of time in the pocket. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage.
We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. They don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback. But he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented. and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Brought down, but both the tackle to produce a solid game there. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage, keep everything in front of you, force that quarterback to have to check the ball down, and then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job here by the D. So you run forward down, out comes the field goal team. This looks will be 23 yards at chip shot. Right down the middle. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. The kickoff team is out. Fields it just outside the goal line. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. And the Sooners offense is back on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Good enough for the first down with a 37. Boy, the quarterback who's shifty and creative on their feet is what we've seen from quarterbacks out of Norman over the most recent years, going back to guys like even Baker Mayfield, but especially Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts, what they could do running and throwing the football, put so much pressure on the defense because you're not quite sure what they're doing with the football until they take off with that speed. Makes it tough to defend them. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Caught over the middle, it's Roberts. He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the plus 47. This offense is clicking, and clearly, everything seems to be working. The coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Grab down the middle, it's Anderson. Finally brought down with the offense moving close to the red zone here. I'll tell you what, you're going to load up on this running game and you're going to leave your corners one-on-one. -on -one. You better be ready when you take on Oklahoma. Think about all the receivers they've had over the years. Just off the top of my head, guys like C.D. Lamb and Hollywood Brown, they get left one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to make you pay for it. This receiver... Touchdown, Oklahoma. This offense really clicking. Kirk, you play quarterback. How about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely? Chris, it's not just his route running. It's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really, I think, is unique. They put so much time into this in the offseason. By the time they get to Saturdays, you can close your eyes and make your throw. It's exactly what we saw right there. Now with a PAT. The extra point is good. It's 28 10. Team now set to boot this one away. No return it from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. They're in a hole here before they have a chance to regroup at halftime. Let's see if they can cut into this big lead. Caught over the middle. It's Brazil. 
They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. First down, looking to throw the football. He's a wide open receiver, complete. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Fires it to the wide out. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And the tackle is made, but the offense now is set up. First and goal from the nine. I mean, how about this offense and this execution? That's three plays, three completions, and the blink of an eye. And now it's first and goal. Now a chance to cut into this lead before halftime. It's first and goal. Dropping back. It's Ayamaleva. Looking for six. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Volunteers. Love to watch his quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Now the all-important extra point. PAT is good, makes it an 11-point game, 28-17. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. Turn starts from inside the five. We tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. Let's see how the offense plays it here. Not much time remaining if they want to get a chunk play, put them in scoring position before the half. It's a highlight reel diving catch there. They bring him down, but the sophomore quarterback shows what a cannon he has. Chris, when that quarterback threw that football, I didn't think that play had much of a chance. How about the effort by this wide receiver to lay out and come up with that completion for positive yards? Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. On first and ten, looking to throw. With the catch, it's Sawchuck. They make the tackle as time expires. That'll do it for the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. away to start the second half. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Sooners offense is back out on the field. Already a two-possession lead here. Let's see if they continue to call it aggressively and try to put this defense in a bigger hole. A game moves the ball out near the 25. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. The Sooners hustle to the line to run the hurry up. And the same runner's got it again. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Offense in hurry-up mode. He hands it to the back. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. Now... Fourth 
the Sooners will bring their punt team on the field now. He's on to boot it away now. And the return will be brought down. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Great cut there. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set. It's second down. Same tail back, another carry. Fighting him off. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. The coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. No huddle here for the offense. They'll run it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And tackled after a small pickup there. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Back to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Quick throw over the middle. And he's got his man. Open downfield. That's a big gain. The offense is threatening now. Spot the ball at the 22. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. And the Volunteers will crank up the tempo. It's a shotgun run call. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains, and runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. A handoff from the shotgun. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. So here we go, third down in the red zone, the kind of play that decides football games. They'll run it from the gun. Good enough for first down yardage. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. And the Vols will have first and ten here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the runner brought down after just a short game. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. They finally corral him at the one. Well, at this stage of the game, this offense is clearly thinking it's four-down territory. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry.
Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And it's first and goal. You're thinking about trying to score. You're looking at positive yards instead. You're going backwards. That's going to set up a very important second down call here. And this big crowd doing everything possible to inspire this defense down here near the goal line. Change of pace now looking to throw the football. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Offense keeps possession, recovers the fumble. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. Makes the grab. Can he get there? And the defense brings him down. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. It was on target the first time. This is a chip shot. He missed 23 yards out. He missed it. There's a penalty marker down. He might get a second shot at this. The Volunteers come to the line with first and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Touchdown, Vols. A strong fight back. Can you say methodical? The marathon march, Kirk, just pounding away and wearing down that defense. They just kept moving the sticks and moving the sticks until they got into the red zone, and they just kept moving to the sticks until they got into the end zone. What a drive. The coach deciding to go for two here to cut the margin to three points. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. And he's not going to get there. The two-point drive fails. They can't cut into this deficit any further. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. Bringing it out. It's Bowman. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. And the Sooners looking to use the up-tempo offense here. And the quarterback keeps it here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And it's a nice job by this defense. They saw option. They actually forced the quarterback to pull the ball on the read. And then they corral him for a loss. You could tell they worked hard on that in practice. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Scanning the field. It's Arnold. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. A nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. An inside give now from the shotgun. He's found some room at the 45. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. The Sooners pick up enough for a first down here.
quarterback keeps the football. The ball is loose. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. Man, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier, but I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. First down here for this offense. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Run down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. The Volunteers hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. And the second effort there will earn him the first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The balls have first and ten here. There's the handoff. Got the first down, now looking for more. Touchdown, Tennessee. And they will claim the second half lead. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. Coach makes the decision to go for a two-point conversion. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. And he'll run it into the end zone. The lead up to three points now. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Returner looking to create better field position. Be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Sooners offense is back on the field. Frustration in the last drive. They moved it into plus territory, but coughed it up. Can't afford that down on the scoreboard now. Tackled way behind the line. He'll lose six there. The defense there showed incredible discipline on the backside contained. And that reverse wasn't going anywhere. Just textbook. From the 12-yard line, it's second and long now. Kibbe decides to keep it here. Running with purpose. They get him to the ground about the 18-yard line. Oh, the read option here. The quarterback keeps it. I thought he was going to get out and maybe take this downfield for big yards. The defense, very fortunate to keep him to a shorter game. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. To throw, it's Arnold. Quick throw, testing the middle. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Tackled at the 44, but good enough for a first down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. The Sooners will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. The shotgun handoff here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Hat on a hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. The offense going with the hurry up. Long 
On the run, it's Sacha. And the defense able to hold him there to a short gain. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. There's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. On third down, he drops to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Anderson. They bring him down, but that's enough for a first down. As the clock runs down here in the third quarter. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, holding just for two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Second down after that run on the previous play. It's a quarterback keeper. And that run produces a decent game. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy in their center today for this defense. But they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But they've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we can see him breaking one any moment against this defense. Important yardage needed on third down here. A field goal try would be from 52. Quarterback still with the football. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches. Well, they tried to grind that out for those two yards, and they came up just short. I'm talking inches short. You know the players are going to say, hey, coach, let's go for it. We can make it. We can make it. It's fourth down and inches. Get behind that line and go for it. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. And I tell you, life of a kicker. This guy's not been cold on the entire game. Probably cold as ice on the sideline. But when it matters, he's hot as a stove when his number's called. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the returner will be brought down. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Picks up the first, looking for more. Brought down to the 28, and it's good enough for a first down. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down, and I am taking off myself on the option, he has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. The ball's looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackle made at the 41. It's a nice game. They're getting closer to the 50. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. Second down now after the sack. The offense with some pre-snap motion. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Breaks loose at the 45. Brought down but crosses midfield to the 46. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. 
And the volunteers come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's play action. And the junior able to get home with the sack. Oh, really nice by the big fella there, defensive tackle. He never bought into that play action fake and went right in for the quarterback and brought him down. First down, Sack pushes the ball back. Second down coming up. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no game. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Crucial third down play right here. Looking to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Oh, and he can't make the catch on the crossing route. And that's going to bring out fourth down now. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. So first and ten for the offense after a costly fourth down penalty on the defense. And now the handoff. He's past the marker and still going. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage and you can throw it over top of it. And the Vols will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. The Volunteers are in the red zone. Looking for a gap, it's Selden. Tackle, but first down. You know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers, and don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. He's got it near the end zone. Tackle down at the three after the catch. Defense up against it now. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Trying to get to the end zone. They'll run it left. Touchdown, Volunteers. They've come all the way back to claim the lead. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. But they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Now they get set to kick it away. This one is not returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone. Fresh set it down to the offense. First down. From the shotgun now. Here's a handoff inside. Second. 
second down after that run on the previous play. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. The Soft were able to bring him down quickly. Sooners come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Dropping back, it's Arnold looking for the wide out. He's got an open man downfield and it's caught. Big game moves the ball across midfield to the 45. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. It's a really good, solid run. I know it's not the flashiest big play, but it's important for your offense to be able to get yards like that on early downs. You stay ahead of the chains, and it opens up the playbook for the second and third down coming up. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Runs through the defender. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. The Sooners pick up enough for a first down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's Burks. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. They continue to march toward a game-tying touchdown. It's first and ten. Here comes a throw from the red zone. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Tight end goes in motion. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Chris, remember in college football, it's just one foot down to be able to count for a touchdown. Does a great job towards the back line there. Doesn't go out of bounds. Goes up into the air and gets that one foot down. That's good. That's a score. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. So the challenge doesn't work. That'll cost the head coach a timeout. We'll see if that comes into play later in the ballgame. And that PAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Turn it from near the goal line. He stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. The last drive, the ground game was so 
successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. No way to run up the middle. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and the run fits on that play. The Volunteers looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Handoff here from the shotgun. A quick juke. He moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Bringing pressure. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. Throwing the football here on third down and short. How about the defense? They were not fooled at all. Before the quarterback had a chance to read any coverage at all, he's on his back because of that pressure. This one will be fair caught. And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. The passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. Makes a quick catch. This is what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Well, with a quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw in the quick slant, gets some really good yards. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. Receiver makes the grab. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Man, with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. A new set of downs after that completion. First down, looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wideout. He makes the grab. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to it. The Sooners getting set on first and ten. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Second down play coming up. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. And now the defense decides to spend the timeout to regroup a bit. Positive yards at this point in the game are always important, especially now that you're starting to get well within the range of a field goal to take the lead. But if I'm this offensive coordinator and quarterback, I'm thinking about a touchdown here late in the game. Got space, looking to score. Touchdown, Oklahoma, to claim the lead here in the final minute. What a thing of beauty by this offense to put that go-ahead score up on the board. The quarterback played with tremendous composure when the game was on the line. Now we'll see if his own defense can hold on to this lead. Well, they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter.
kickoff team is on the field to move this one away. And it's fielded. Returner trying to make something happen. And they've got the returner corralled. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. Here we go. They need a touchdown. They got some time to work with here. They got to be precise and manage the clock wisely. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Now he just comes up and spikes it to stop the clock. They've got to get points quickly here. Looking for explosive plays right now. To the air. It's Ayamaleva. Let's it go quickly. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. You know, this is what makes this receiver so dangerous. If you play him in man, he can run by you for a big play. You decide to sit back in zone, and he's got the savvy and instincts to be able to find that soft spot in the zone, make a catch, and be dangerous after the catch as well. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Now it's second down here. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Oh, and he can't quite come up with it. That would have been huge. Brings up third down. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game in a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of his huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. And the offense calls timeout with 17 seconds left. Great chance of the offense to tie the game. First and goal. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Defense is coming after him. Cannot get the throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this stage of the game. 